Hi friends. When Jesse Ballard found out he was pregnant, he was shocked, but excited. Because Jesse and Maria are both transgender, their previous gender-affirming hormone treatments may interfere with fertility. He and his wife, Maria, were trying to conceive, but they weren't sure how quickly it would happen. Jesse knew he was male at a young age, but faced resistance from healthcare providers when he asked for sex-affirming hormones and surgery. Once Jesse met Maria, they bonded over their passion for eclectic music. He introduced her to Stromsa. Both would receive hormone therapy through Stromsa for years before they got married and began talking to an obstetrician gynecologist about a baby. As the months passed after the pregnancy, Jesse could barely walk. Although he was happy to see the man growing inside him with Maria and his family, he was ready to no longer be pregnant and meet his child. But, after 48 hours of labor, the baby remained motionless. Jesse was exhausted. His cervix hadn't dilated very much. To make matters worse, the epidural wasn't working. One provider mixed up his pronouns, and physicians were switching shifts. So there was yet another new person in the room who would have to complete the cesarean section the team decided was the best option. Yet that obstetrician gynecologist ended up giving Jesse exactly what he needed. Jesse was put to sleep during the procedure. The newborn was 8 pounds, 2.5 ounces, with all little fingers and toes intact. Maria brought him to Jesse and laid him on Jesse's chest. Jesse and Maria called the baby junior. Jesse and Maria called the baby junior. They currently use he, him pronouns for junior but are willing to change if he identifies with a different gender as he gets older.